Hi, my name is Abel. I'm a cloud developer advocate specializing in DevOps. Visual Studio Team Services has an extremely powerful and flexible release management system. And with the GA of release gates, we now have more power than ever. We can create automated approval gates based off of continuous monitoring. Let's go see how we do this. So what you're looking at right now is a typical pipeline. And in this pipeline, I have a dev environment, a QA environment, a canary environment, and a prod environment. Now, we have always had the ability to add manual approval gates before and after each environment. And now, we have the ability to add automated approval gates based off of continuous monitoring. To do that is pretty simple. Let me show you what you need to do. First, we're going to go ahead and enable our gates. And then you'll be able to see that out of the box, there are four types of gates that we can add. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. The first type of gates that we can add is a query for work item gate. Now, this gate uses a work item query to determine if this release should pass or fail. Now, on the VSTS team, we literally use this gate. And the gate that we use, the query that we look at, is we are looking for blocking bugs. And if there are any blocking bugs, guess what we do? Bam, it will automatically stop the release. The next type of gate is the Query Azure Monitor Alerts, where you, we use application insights to monitor your application. And if there are too many alerts, bam, we stop that release automatically. The next two gates, Invoke REST API and Invoke Azure Functions, these are the extensibility points for these automated gates. Now, based off of the REST API that you write, or the, um, the Azure function that you write, you can really make these gates do whatever you need to do. Now, the example that I love to show is I was recently at a hospital where they had a rule where you literally were not allowed to deploy into production without a document signed by a person and uploaded into DocuSign. Now, this was a very slow manual process before, but now with the advent of automated approval gates, I knew DocuSign has a REST API that I can hook into. So I created an extensibility point. I created an automated gate that uses a REST API to check and see if that document was created. So now when the release happens, you'll be able to see that we deployed into dev. It was perfectly fine. We deployed into QA. So far, was everything is fine. But after we deployed into QA, it automatically went out and started to check and see if the release had the document signed. Now, when you set up one of these release gates, you get to set the polling frequency, and you also get to set how long you want these gates to run. In my case, I said poll every five minutes, and let's go ahead and run this gate for 48 hours. So the first time it polled, document still wasn't signed. The second time you polled, document wasn't signed. The third time it pulled, guess what? The document was signed. And because of that, it flowed through the gate. And then it flowed through into the production environment. Now, another thing that you can do is you can take these custom gates that you've created and turn them into extensions for Visual Studio Team Services. And once you turn it into an extension, now anybody can go into the marketplace, download it, and just start using it. So as an example, let's go ahead and jump into the marketplace. Let's go ahead and look for release gates. And you can see a couple of release gates that have been released out already. Now, I'm not seeing the one that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and search for my Twitter gate. And here, we'll go ahead and add this into my VSTS account. So let's go ahead and get it. Now, this gate here goes off into Twitter and checks and see if sentiment is good. And if there are too many negative comments, it will go ahead and block my release. I'm going to install it into my VSTS account. And it takes just a little bit of time. But once it does, I can go back into my release. Now, let me refresh this. And after refreshing this, you'll be able to see that we can start using this gate immediately. So let's jump into my QA environment. We'll go ahead and turn on our gates. We'll add, and here we go. There is the get Twitter sentiment gate 
that can be added and immediately used. So super powerful feature, easy to implement, totally extensible. So release gates is a very powerful feature and now it has GA'd. And using these gates in our releases, we can now release faster yet safer. For more info on release gates, go to docs.microsoft.com. Thank you.